Hi everyone. In this video, we will learn how SharePoint storage space is calculated and how you can allocate the storage space to your SharePoint sites. Now, the amount of storage space that you get in your SharePoint organization depends on the number of licenses that you have in your tenant. If you want to check the storage space for your SharePoint organization, you will go to SharePoint Admin Center. Make sure you are a global administrator or a SharePoint administrator. Then you will expand sites and you will go to active sites. And at the top right, you will see the total storage space allocated to your SharePoint organization and the amount of space that is available. Your SharePoint sites will use this storage space to store the information. For example, files, list items, site contents, and so on. Now, as I said earlier, the total amount of storage space depends on the licenses that you have in your tenant. When you create a Microsoft 365 tenant, you get one terabyte of storage space for SharePoint. And if you purchase a new license that has SharePoint services included, you get 10 GB of storage space per license. That means if I purchase five licenses that has SharePoint service included, I will get 50 GB of storage space for my SharePoint environment. And if you purchase a license that doesn't has SharePoint services included, you will not get any storage space for SharePoint. Also, the maximum amount of the storage limit for a SharePoint site is 25 terabytes. If a SharePoint site reaches 25 terabyte, it goes into read only mode. And this condition applies to all type of SharePoint sites. For example, team site with Microsoft 365 group, communication site or a team site without Microsoft 365 group. By default, your SharePoint storage is available in a central pool. All the SharePoint sites will automatically consume the space from that central pool. You as a SharePoint administrator doesn't have to allocate the storage space to each site manually. This is done automatically by SharePoint. Your SharePoint sites will automatically use the storage space whenever they need it. But if you want to allocate the storage space to each site manually, you can do this from SharePoint Admin Center. Make sure you are the global administrator or a SharePoint administrator and you will go to SharePoint Admin Center. Then you will go to settings and here look for site storage limits. By default, the storage limit will be set to automatic. That means your SharePoint sites will use the storage space automatically whenever they need it. Now, if I go to active sites, and if I open any site, I do not see any setting to manage the storage of this particular site. Or even I do not see any option here to manage the storage for this particular site. Because as of now, the storage limit is set to automatic. But if I set this option to manual and save, now if I go to active sites, select any site, here I can see an option storage. And if I go to site properties, here also I can see an option storage limit. As of now, it is set to 25 TB. And if I want to modify this storage space for this particular site, I'll click edit. And here I can enter a number in GB, the space that I want to assign to this particular site. Here you can add a value from 1 GB to 25600 GB. This is the maximum value. So let's say I want to assign 100 GB for this particular site. So I'll type 100. And now this site will have 100 GB of storage space. And once this site will reach 100 GB, this site will become read only. Now, when you assign a storage space manually, you should also enable the alerts so that the SharePoint administrators or global administrators or the site admins can be notified when the sites are reaching the storage limit.
and here you can type the limit that when this site will reach this storage limit the administrators will get a notification so once done click save and this is how you can assign a storage space to the sharepoint sites manually in this video we will learn how to limit the storage space for the new sharepoint sites the storage space allocation that we just discussed this is applicable for the existing sharepoint sites the sites that you already have in your sharepoint tenant but if someone is creating a new sharepoint site in your sharepoint tenant that site will get 25600 gb of storage space automatically so if you want to add a storage space limit for the new sites that your users will be creating you will go to sharepoint admin center and you will go to settings and here you will go to site creation and under default storage limit for new sites you can type a number here from 1 to 25600 so let's say i want to limit this for 100 gb so i'll type 100 and i'll click save so now if a user will create a new sharepoint site in my sharepoint environment that site will get 100 gb of storage space if a sharepoint site is running out of the storage space a site admin can request for the more storage space so as a site admin you will open the sharepoint site and you will go to settings site information view all site settings on the site settings page look for site collection administration and under this you will click storage metrics here you will see the storage space being used by each document library files and folders site list and the list content and if the site is running out of the storage space you will see an option at the top right that says request more quota you will click that option and this will send a storage request email to the global administrator of your tenant and the global administrator will add more storage space to this site now you can come across a scenario where you are running out of storage space in sharepoint your sites have consumed all the storage space that you had in your sharepoint tenant like we discussed earlier you can see the storage space for your sharepoint tenant here at the top right so if all the storage space is consumed by your sharepoint sites you can add more storage space by purchasing new licenses that has sharepoint service included so if all the storage space is consumed by your sharepoint sites you can add more storage space by purchasing new licenses that has sharepoint service included when you purchase a license that has sharepoint service included you get 10 gb of storage space for each license you can also purchase an add-on license to add more storage space for your sharepoint organization that add-on is office 365 extra file storage this add-on gives you 1 GB of storage space for each license. That means if you want 100 GB of storage space for your SharePoint sites, you need to purchase 100 licenses of Office 365 extra file storage add-on. To purchase this add-on, you will go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Here, you will click Marketplace. And under Marketplace, you will go to all products and here you will search for office 365 extra file storage add-on if you do not see the add-on here that means you do not have a supported license to purchase the add-on if you want to know about the supported licenses for this add-on go to google and look for add sharepoint storage space and open this article and scroll it down now here you will see all the licenses those are supported with office 365 extra file storage add-on 
So if you have any one of these licenses, you can purchase this add-on. Also, when you purchase extra file storage add-on, you do not have to assign this add-on to the users. You just need to purchase it as per the storage space required and that's it. Based on the number of licenses you have purchased, you will get storage space for your SharePoint organization. If your SharePoint organization is running out of the storage space or you as a global administrator has received an email that says SharePoint online is out of storage space, there is not enough storage space on your SharePoint online. Or if you suspect that you should have more storage space than the storage space reflecting on the SharePoint admin center, you can run self-help diagnostics. As a global administrator, you will go to SharePoint admin center. Here on the right bottom, you will click need help. And here you will type diag d i a g and then you will type sharepoint online storage and click this arrow now this test will ask for the sharepoint url so for that you will go to sharepoint admin center and here at the top you will copy this url till here and paste it here and at the last type your root site under which all the sites are created you can see here all the sites are created under sites root folder this is for my tenant it can differ for your tenant if you are changing the root folder so if it is by default then it will be sites so at the end of the url you will type sites and click run test So for my tenant, it says our test didn't find any problem. So no issues found. But if you are facing any issues with the storage space, it will give you the details and this test will show you the storage space calculation, like how many licenses you have in your tenant and how much storage space you should have in your tenant. If this calculation is correct, as per the storage space you see here, in that case, you need to purchase a new license to increase the storage space for your SharePoint Admin Center.